Hello friends. In this video, we'll set up the provider configuration and deploy our first resource to GCP. Start by creating a configuration file and name it main.tf. Terraform recognizes files ending in tf or tf.json as configuration files and will load them when it runs. A Terraform configuration file is a set of blocks. Each block describes a task for Terraform to run. So let's start by adding our first block, the provider block. It is defined with the provider keyword and is followed by the provider name, Google in our case. A provider is responsible for creating and managing resources and we need to give it the project on which to act and its credentials. You can get the project ID from the GCP console in the project info section, just copy it and paste it in the file. The credentials file we already have, add the credentials field then indicate its path. Two more attributes, the region and zone to which we'd like to deploy our resources. Now let's head back to the terminal to run our first command. Terraform init initializes various local settings and data that will be used later on. Run this in the same directory as main.tf file. Terraform then downloads the Google provider and installs it in the Terraform hidden directory where you run the command. A new folder and a file are generated. Terraform block HCL, maintained automatically by Terraform init, and the hidden folder with the Google provider binary file. Just like the provider block, there is a resource block to define components of our infrastructure. After resource keyword, you need to add in two strings. The first is the resource type, the second is the name. A Google Compute Engine VM instance is referred to as Google Compute Instance in Terraform, the Google part of the name identifies the provider for Terraform. Compute indicates the GCP product family and instance is the resource kind. This block indicates a few arguments, the name, machine type and the deployment zone, which are simple strings. Boot disk and network interface are more complex blocks. Make sure to allow the VM to stop for updates. This VM will be using a Debian operating system and will be connected to the default network. The access config block even empty ensures that the instance will be accessible over the internet. Now back to the terminal, the Terraform plan command shows us the plan, resources to create, those to change or recreate and those to delete. If you move up in the plan output, the plus sign means this resource will be provisioned. Beneath it shows the attributes to set. Some of them are known and others like IP addresses aren't yet, they will be after provisioning or apply. There is one resource to add, known to change or destroy. So let's apply this with Terraform apply. Enter yes to approve these actions. While provisioning, let's see how we should have done this on the GCP console. On navigation menu, select compute engine. You can see our VM being provisioned. Now click create instance. From here, we can give it a name, choose the region and zone, the instance type. We have a lot of options here. We choose the N1 series F1 micro. Next step, Select the boot disk image. Again, several options are available, from public to custom images or even snapshots and existing disks. You can also select a network. For now, we're using the only one we've got, the default network. As you can see, this would be a tedious task when you have a lot of resources to deploy. By now, our VM has been provisioned and is ready. In the next one, we will add two other resources and update the VM to see how it goes. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you then.